Welcome to 2016 International Conference on Business, Economics, Management, Social Sciences, Art, and Humanities. Indeed, it is a great pleasure to be with you in this session. Yours truly is Dr. Amando P. Singun, Jr. of Higher College of Technology, Muscat, Sultanate of Oman. I am going to share with you my paper entitled, Usability Metrics for a Web-Based Test Blueprint System. This study sought to measure the usability of the web-based test blueprint system using different usability metrics. Specifically, it attempts to measure the extent of compliance of the proposed web-based test blueprint system in terms of the following usability goals, effectiveness, efficiency, and satisfaction. Usability is a relative key concept in the field of human-computer interaction, or HCI, where main focus is on how the human uses the computer or any interactive system as a tool to perform, simplify, or support a task. Usability should be seriously addressed so that the humanity could experience the true and universally accepted meaning of usability, which is the extent to which a system or a product can be used by specified users to achieve specified usability goals with effectiveness, efficiency, and satisfaction in a specified context. These three usability goals that describe the usability qualities of a user interface can be measured to the use of usability metrics. As shown in Figure 1, the usability framework shows that usability is not a single or one-dimensional property, but rather aims for multiple usability goals, such as effectiveness, which refers to the accuracy and completeness of user goal achievement, efficiency, which refers to the resources spent by user in order to ensure accurate and complete achievement of the goals, and satisfaction, which refers to the subjective thought of the user regarding the user's attitude, level of comfort, acceptability of use, and relevance of application. According to ISO 9241, a system or a product is dependent on its specific and distinct context of use, that is, user, task, equipment, and environment. To measure the usability of a system, the three usability goals are measured using appropriate usability metrics. The results of the usability metrics are actually influenced by the context of use or circumstances surrounding the system. In light of the conceptual framework, I develop a web-based test blueprint system that facilitates an automated preparation of a test blueprint that helps teachers to write test questions that are fair, valid, reliable, and comprehensive. On the list are the four functional tasks that the teachers can perform using the web-based test blueprint system. To provide you a quick look and feel about the system, let's access the web-based test blueprint system using my login account. I'm using my email address as the username and the password has been provided. And so authentication has been accepted. Now I can access the various links. There are several links. And time is not enough to explain each and every link. So therefore, I would suggest you to please email me so that I can provide you a guest account so that you can explore further the web-based test blueprint system. The five participants of this study are called double experts. Double experts are those individuals who have multiple areas of expertise. The double experts can effectively determine more usability problems since they are expert users who have strong knowledge base about usability, competence on the use of computers or systems, and strong familiarity about the domain under study. As illustrated in Figure 3, it is reasonable to recommend the use of five evaluators in order to identify identify rather 75% of the usability problems. Based on the literature on usability, it says that beyond five uh, evaluators creates a decreasing efficiency since evaluators will find repeated uh, usability problems in a looping manner. This study made use of a descriptive research design using the following data gathering techniques. First is the website walkthrough 
which is a usability evaluation method in which participants walk through the website and perform the required tasks. And second is the standardized satisfaction questionnaire. In this study, we use a single is question and the system usability is scale. The level of usability of the web-based test blueprint system can be best measured using observable and quantifiable metrics as illustrated in figure 4. Usability metrics are used as the statistics of the usability goals. For instance, effectiveness can be measured using the usability metrics such as completion rate and number of errors, whereas efficiency can be measured using either time-based efficiency or overall relative efficiency. On the other hand, we also have satisfaction, which can be measured using post-task satisfaction or task-level satisfaction. The next screen describes the different metrics used to measure effectiveness, such as the completion rate, with which is the percentage of completion of a specific task. Each successful task gets a binary value of 1, while 0 for an unsuccessful completion of a task. All the binary digits are averaged. The result of the completion rate is dependent on the context of use of the task being evaluated. Effectiveness based on the completion rate can be derived using the equation as shown on the screen. Another is the number of errors as effectiveness metrics. This measurement involves counting the number of errors that the participant makes when attempting to complete a task. Errors may be in a form of a slip, mistake, omission, or an intended action that a user makes while attempting to complete a task. Let's take up the efficiency metrics. Like in the case of effectiveness, efficiency is also affected by the kind of user, task, and technology used by the system under study. It can be calculated in one of two ways, time-based efficiency or overall relative efficiency. Time-based efficiency refers to the ratio of effective users' work time to all users' work time. The formula is shown on the screen, where wherein the letter N refers to the total number of tasks. The letter R refers to the number of users. The letter N sub IJ ref re refers to the result of task I by user J, which means to say that if the user successfully completes the task, then N sub IJ is equal to 1. Otherwise, it is equal to 0. T sub IJ is, e is equal to the time spent by user J to complete task I, which means to say that if the task is not successfully completed, then time is measured until the moment the user quits the task. The next one is the overall relative efficiency, which makes use of the ratio of the time taken by the users who successfully completed the task in relation to the total time taken by all users. The formula is shown on the screen as well. Referring to satisfaction metrics, using standardized satisfaction questionnaires, the mean values of the user's post-task satisfaction and user's task-level satisfaction are derived. For post-task user satisfaction, we use the single is question with a scale of 1 to 7, where 1 is considered the very difficult and 7 as very easy. On the other hand, we have task level user satisfaction, which makes use of the system usability scale with a scale of 1 to 5, where 5 is the most positive response. Based on the literature, an SUS score of 68 is considered as above average, and anything below 68 is below average. An SUS score could be interpreted as either a promoter score or a detractor score. As shown in Figure 6, promoters have an average SUS score of 82, while detractors have an average score of 67, with p-value less than 0 0.01. If the system has an SUS score of greater than or equal to 80, then it implies that users may most likely promote the use of the system to other people. Next screen 
uh, provides us the results and findings on effectiveness. Throughout the website, walk through all the five participants had successfully completed all the required four tasks as, as shown in the list. The set target is 78% being the threshold rate of completion rate. Therefore, the 100% completion rate fits the aim of teachers as they are accountable to the student's learning achievement. Getting a 100% completion rate implies a high confidence level which can be assigned between 75% to 100% of all the teachers doing the same task. Normally, users of any interactive system may encounter errors. There is no such thing as perfect system anyway. As revealed in Table 2, the participants had encountered one distinct error in Task 1 and two distinct er errors in Task 3. Half of the given task did not yield to any error. Therefore, the result shows that the web-based system is simple and intuitive. The next screen shows results and findings on efficiency. The participants completed task 1 within 30 to 40 minutes while task 3 within 15 to 20 minutes. On the other hand, tasks 2 and 4 were completed in a split of 0.1 second. The results show that expert users are task-oriented who wanted to complete tasks in a highly efficient manner. As reported in Table 3, the overall relative efficiency is 100%, which implies that the web-based test blueprint system maximizes the time, resources, and effort of the teachers, which in turn enhances the classroom assessment processes. It also implies that teachers can complete each task within the target time duration, thus be able to meet deadlines. Now, the next screen provides us the results and findings on satisfaction. As reported in Table 4, all the targets are met except for Task 3. Participants had slight difficulty in preparing the mapping matrix which requires a practical knowledge on pedagogy and classroom assessment. Despite of this, the standard deviation shows that responses do not have any major gaps of differences and the overall mean is 5.55, which is within the positive stream of the scale, which implies that users had experienced a perceived ease of use while using the web-based test blueprint system. As presented in Table 5, all the participants' row responses had been normalized to form a percentile mean. Interestingly, the responses for all the oddly numbered items range from 3.8 to 4, which belong to the positive stream of the scale. The overall SUS score is 90, which implies that users are satisfied on the web-based test blueprint system. The SUS score of 90 is far above the average SUS score of 68, and it is considered excellent with a grade rating of B, which is further interpreted as acceptable. Thus, the SUS score of 90 signifies a promoter score, which means that users feel the system's ease of use, which prompts them to promote the use of the system to their colleagues. Based on the results and findings, here are my conclusion and set of recommendations. Usability evaluation should be encouraged as an organizational quality practice to periodically evaluate existing information systems. The usability metrics and the research methodologies used in this study are recommended for usability evaluation of any system since these are cost-effective, quick, and simple to use which yield to valid and reliable results. Usability metrics should be integrated as a built-in functionality of any system. The acceptability or usability level of a system by the users should always be maintained in order to leverage effectiveness, efficiency, and satisfaction. And finally, the top management of an organization or institution should strongly support technology integration with usability as the end in mind. Here is the list of references which I have used in this study. For further queries, please email me at amando-singun at act.edu.om or asingun at yahoo.com. 
I hope that you have learned something from this session. I wish to see you again in the next international conference. Once again, thank you very much.